I'm going to do a video on how to operate an Automec CNC 99. Uh, I get this request an awful lot. So I'm going to start from the beginning and hopefully you guys will be able to get a good start. This little reference sheet is magnetic and it just sticks to the front. Behind it there is a red and code button. That's why it's pretty important to have this up here so people who don't understand what they're doing can't make that little switch. Anyway, this machine is going to be able to run in three different modes. Actually, run in two modes, but it has three modes. One is the programming mode, and one is the manual mode, and one is the automatic mode. First thing you have to do is understand what this thing is doing. It is a 99, meaning it, you can program 99 jobs. So you can go job 01, you can go job 99. And each of these jobs has quite a few bends. 23 if I remember right, but it's a lot. And I don't know if I've ever seen anybody use that many bends. But a lot of people will just choose job one over and over again because it's pretty easy and straightforward to operate this gauge without saving your jobs, regardless. So the first thing you do is you pick a job and then you want to program a bend. These right here are, you have to push the button first and you go for bend one. This will be the first bend on a part. Retract is if you have a part that's going to hit the back edge when uh, the back edge tries to come back in, you can retract for a certain number of seconds. And what that'll do is keep the back edge out of your way for long enough for you to get your part out. Flange, that's really just the inside dimension of your bend. So if you want, if you have quarter inch material and you want to put a two inch bend on it, measured from outside, you would have to put in one and three quarter roughly to measure to the inside of that bend. So this is where you put the actual inside dimension. In this case here, we're just programming two inches, but I said one and three quarter, so it's gonna populate and write justify one and a three quarter. Now the depth, this is real, this is in real time. So when you're bending apart and it's gonna come down and be calibrated touching the top of your material, what you do is program how much further you want the ram to come down in order to bend the angle which you're after. And there's a little bit of magic and understanding in this, but it's pretty straightforward. If you have a one inch bottom one inch opening on your bottom. For instance, this one here is only a half inch open. I can't have a half inch of travel here because it will crash into the tooling plus not have any room for the material to be there. So I'm gonna put in a small number like 150 thousandths and then show you where we go. Height is how high it returns from the pinch point, the top of the material after it gets done bending. So if you want this to come up higher to get your part out, you would put like two in there. That's that's just under a quarter. Now it's two inches, so it'll come up two inches. We just finished programming bend one. Bend two is going to be, we're not gonna put a retract in there, but in this case here, we're gonna put, let's say 15 inches in here. The depth, Again, it's down a quarter inch, that's too deep. So this one here, we're gonna duplicate with 150 thousandths, and then we're gonna return only an inch on this bend. Now, if you wanna pry your brake out, you can push manual, and you can see immediately it's gonna complain because it hasn't been calibrated. There are two calibrations we have to do. There's the back gauge calibration. Skip over this. This is if you wanna shut the ram off and then there's the calibrate the RAM. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cal calibrate the back gauge. What it's going to do is you're gonna hit flange, bend, zero, negative sign, and it's gonna populate itself with two inches. What's gonna happen is it's going to go to the back of the machine, back of the back gauge, which is 24 inches, and then it's gonna hit a micro switch back there and that's where it calibrates from. And I'm gonna walk around and show you where that's at. Go back up. 
on the side that has the motor pack if you look down right here you will see this micro switch when it hits that micro switch it knows that it's 24 inches it's going to collapse that micro switch going to walk forward just a little bit very slowly until it drops the micro switch at that point it calibrated 24 inches so what it does then is moves forward 22 inches to the 2 inch mark that it's saying right here why because when you get to that point you may want to put blocks in here that are 2 inches from the center of the punch and then you can you can calibrate this to match the two inches that you're after on your control. So now I'm going to push manual and then when I hit this advanced button it's going to come back. I'm going to show it at the same time. Coming back, hits the calibration, walk a little bit forward off of it, up to two inches. It's currently located at two inches. Okay. Now, 